Hey yo! Heba here. So uh, there's a new game out and it's called Wayfinder and uh, I have been looking forward to this game for quite a while because it seems to be just the kind of game that I like. You know, lots of grind, kind of RPG elements, lots of ways to build your character and of course vibrant, uh, you know, kind of cartoony yet still beautiful graphics and uh, sure I got what I wanted here. So uh, let's just look at the game here in detail. So uh, three characters are available from the get-go. The hunt begins. They each have different strengths, weaknesses, and of course special skills or abilities. And uh, if three isn't enough, there's actually another two uh, right here at the moment that you can buy in the game. But uh, I'd say the three that you are, you know, able to just pick up and play with are fine. That is here in the beginning because this is. Uh, not a full release yet, it's uh, like a preview-ish thing and um, so far I haven't run into any bugs at all. So like I said, there's of course a shop in this game here because it is free to play once it launches completely. And uh, obviously you will have to buy Rune Silver, well you don't have to but you can. And uh, that'll allow you to you know go nuts in the shop. And uh, you can choose to ignore that completely. Um, I bought a gun just to see like... Yeah, well, is it any better or is it more fun or is there anything different about it? And so far, not really. So I think it's, uh, well, I don't really know yet, but it's it's more than cosmetic, but it's not pay to win. It doesn't certainly doesn't seem like it. If you don't want to buy stuff for, you know, real money, then uh, the game's world is, like I said, sprawling, colorful and beautiful. And there's just uh, so much to do, it seems, at least. And uh, there's... You know, plenty of vendors in here where you can uh, buy stuff in-game for um, currency that you make while you are out, you know, doing your adventuring. And uh, there seems to be plenty to buy. And uh, this game here has so many mechanics and so many uh, different ways to, like, kit out your Wayfinder here that uh, I don't think I'm going to run out of things to do for a very long time. So, uh, the game is, uh, you know, it's a kind of a mix of... Diablo uh, mixed with third-person view really that's what it seems like it's a lot of grind I can tell you that uh, it's all about you know uh, like leveling your character leveling your weapons and uh, using all the built-in versions in the game to actually make your uh, character stronger that's what it's really about and uh, of course by doing that you'll have to uh, you know buy and sell equipment and uh, not just equipment but uh, weapons and armor and uh, Lots of other things uh, that are in the game and also haven't been added yet. Like there's a few mechanics already and uh, it was a little bit overwhelming in the beginning. I've only played the game for like 3-4 hours. Um, but once you get the hang of it, uh, you, it's fairly obvious that uh, you're going to be absolutely free to build any sort of character you want. And especially the ecosystem here that I'll show you. This is extremely powerful. It kind of works like uh, gems in Diablo, sort of. Like you have your echoes and you slot them into weapons or your character or your accessories or whatever else there is to slot it into really. And of course there's different levels of each echo. And uh, not just that, you also have your abilities, which are more like skills really. Uh, of course there's many to choose from and each character is uh, like, you know, special. They have its own skills. So uh, you're very very free in building the character exactly the way you want and that's exactly what i like in this game here that's also why i chose this nis character here because he's very agile lots of jumping around and dodging and i like that so uh obviously i haven't made it very far yet and uh, the game is huge like massive and uh i don't think you'll ever finish it to be honest uh, well you can you know finish a character and get it to level 30 and then get the weapon to level 30 but then if you get another level you have to start no, another weapon you have to start over again uh leveling the weapon so there's a lot of grind involved and i mean that's the appeal of the game really at least for me as you can see there's lots of different stats that you can spec into in the game and uh you can go you know all tank build max health and uh you know resilience weapon power whatever you want to you can go full crit build it's, uh, it's completely up to you and uh, any character can use any sort of weapon which is awesome so you don't have to be limited by you know one character only using swords and another character only using guns. You can choose whatever you want and you can build your character exactly the way you want. 
and uh, the echoes will make that uh, even more powerful I can I can imagine in the future and this is not everything like I said there's at least one or two other uh, ways of uh, manipulating your character that I'm not showing here but uh, I'll get into that later on in a different video because there's simply just too much for this introduction video here but uh, once you're out in the world like I said earlier it's like you know very very cartoony and uh, I like that it's very colorful lots of colored lighting lots of bright textures and uh, you know lots of exploration to do of course you have a map as well I mean that's you know comes with the territory and it actually works pretty well it's one of the better maps I've seen in a while the game kind of reminds me of uh, you know Donkey Kong 64 as a role-playing game or something along those lines and uh, that's something I really enjoy like I said the colorful graphics like kind of fable style uh, I love that and uh, it's one of the main reasons that I was waiting for this game for so long. So uh, combat is also very, very smooth, fluid, and full of abilities to, uh, you know, make the combat flow the way that you want it to work. You know, if you want to throw bombs or use poison or whatever the game allows you to do, you can of course do that. And uh, there's obviously a multiplayer element as well. Not really that, uh, you know, important, but uh. Once you do uh, instance dungeons, you'll be playing along with other players, and you can you know you can ignore them or you can just play along uh, you know as a multiplayer group. Of course, after each uh, dungeon, you will be rewarded with very nice loot and uh, other stuff, gloomstones and rings and whatever echoes, of course. And uh, that's really what the game is about. It's about you know maxing out your character and maxing it out the way that you want to play. And uh, the game only gets more and more fun the more you invest into it, I can uh, tell you that. And uh, if you like to, you know, go guns blazing like I'm doing here, you can do that. And you can, you know, uh, spec your character precisely into that and just ignore everything else. Uh, but like I said before, if you want to go, you know, sword and shield, like an old school RPG, you can totally do that as well. Uh, so I'll do some more videos on the uh, like the nitty gritty systems here because this is quite an advanced game and it does take a little bit of getting used to and also I don't know what is good to spec into yet I haven't even played the game more than a few hours so uh, sure it'll be interesting and uh, I know there's gonna be lots of new stuff coming over the years once the game actually launches it'll launch at the end of this year and uh, lots of seasons coming and lots of new wayfinders I'm assuming and lots of new weapons obviously and echoes so uh, I think it's going to keep me busy for a long time going forward. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and uh, try to download the game. It does cost a little bit now but it will be free eventually.